Hobbytown Chesapeake. Shannon. Yes. My name is John D. Briggs. Uh-huh. We got a, just a little bit of a problem I was seeing if y'all could help me with. Okay. Came in there and got one of y'all big rig monster trucks. Uh-huh. Uh, race car. Not race car, but just remote control. Are you talking about Team Axe? Yeah. Okay. Got one of those for my boy, uh, Cooter Bob. We was out racing it the other day. Right. And I don't know if he was giving it too much juice or what, but that thing blew up. That kind of stuff does happen sometimes. But here's the problem. Here's the problem, Shannon. The wheel popped off that thing. It hit me square in the head. Now, I got a pop knot about the size of... It's huge on my head. And I had to be rushed to the emergency room. Man, that's terrible. Yes, sir, it is. So does the whole rim at all come off or just... Well, it was the... You know, you know, the tires are pretty big. And they weigh quite a bit when they get flying. Mm-hmm. They hit me square in the head. And... You're supposed to glue those tires on, though. That will prevent that from happening. Well... By gum, we bought it there, and y'all told us what to do, and we followed it step by step. Well, in the instructions, there's a category in the section that tells you to tire, uh, glue the tires on. Right. Well, here, here, here's the problem. Uh, I had to be rushed over to the emergency room, but I figured it was y'all's daggum product's fault. So I got about, well, hang on just a minute here. Let me. It's about $232.69 worth of doctor bills here from where I got hit in the head. Well, you may be able to get that from tractors, but you can't get that from us. Well, I was just thinking I could stop by there today and pick up a check for that. No, that's nothing that, that we can do for you. Well, can y'all... We don't produce the car. We just sell the car. Well, maybe somebody might get their tail whipped over this. Well, if that, if that happens, I guess that'll happen. Because I'm just a little bit PO'd. Well, I can, I can see why, sir. I, can, I definitely can't see why, but... You know, there's That's the dangest thing I've ever seen. Things we can't control. It was like a flying saucer in the air coming after my head. Yep. How big a boy are you? Uh, well, you know, this sounds real familiar. I've, I've heard this radio show over and over and over, but uh, oh, I, this I, ain't I, no. I, I guarantee this ain't no radio show. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be a rodeo show when I get over there and ride you with my fist. Well, you know, yeah, I, I don't think you'd want to do that here on camera because then you'd have a lawsuit. But you know, nah, it ain't gonna be no law. I just wanted to see how big you are, so when I got down there... I am not very big, and I'm not a fighter, that's for sure. Man, that shouldn't take me too dang long. i tell you what, we could probably square this up one of two ways, then. I pick up a check, or somebody got about $232.59 worth of tail I can whip. <laughs> you know, come down, I guess we'll have to figure out something for you. I guarantee it. I'd be on you like Fat Albert on a Twinkie. <laughs> well, I don't think it's too dang funny. I don't think it's funny what happened. I think your your comments are pretty funny, though. Is that right? Well, i tell you what. I, I may be able to get them to take care of this a little cheaper. My doctor, he said that, that when I went in the emergency room, he said the thing that could make my head bit swelling go down a little bit faster. Because i tell you what, dude, I got the swelling on my head. It's unbelievable. That look, sounds look, like you may even actually be able to get a lawsuit, but you know that. It looks like I got a cantaloupe on my head. But that's tracks that you need to be suing. They're, they're the million dollar company. They're the one that makes the car, not us. We're just a little company selling stuff. So. Well, he said that's what I should do. He said I should go down to GNC and get me some of their vitamins and such down there. He said visit an old boy named Fred Mullins down there. Uh-huh. You know that old boy named Fred down there? Uh, I think I know who he is. <laughs> Shannon. Hey, what's up?